Hello and uh, welcome to artistworms.com. So today will be a special video because I have some news, not very well news, uh, that, but uh, I'm pretty sure that nothing happened for nothing. So this bad news can actually become good news. What that means? So the landlord, landlord of this place. He gave me, a, he sent me one email that he told me that he will no review, renew my loan that will expire for April 30. That means for April 30 I have to go from this place for different reasons. Okay, so this uh, this uh, partnership between uh, Worms and the landlord didn't work. He actually don't like the one, so I have to find another place. I'm actively uh, looking for a different places place and. Uh, I already talked with a couple of uh, commercial realtors. I, I, yesterday I went to see a place uh, that did not work out 100%, so I'm still uh, looking. I have two months uh, to look for uh, to find a new place and move everything. It's a little overwhelming, just all think to move everything, but I have a plan. And then now today we will talk about that. I am a little overwhelmed again to move all this stuff. I need a plan and actually I have a little plan to try to figure out how to move this stuff without uh, going crazy or have extra equipment. To move uh, this stuff, they are very, very heavy and you know, to load on the truck and I load on the truck to the other place, I will need a forklift because they are very, very uh, heavy. But don't make any sense to rent a forklift because it's very, very, very expensive and uh, don't make any sense for just you know a business of my size to, to to rent a forklift. So what I decided to do, I decided to do to finish to reset the, the other bedding, move all the, the majority of the worms uh, in um, in the in the little bin, in the little mortar tray, in the reproduction bin and uh, just empty, empty out uh, the big CFT bin. So when you empty out uh, like two, three people, they can easily just, you know, load on the truck and uh, unload. So my idea is uh, if I found the place, uh, pay the rent, okay, for two places for one month. So I have one month to move everything. So I can build uh, new stuff, uh, new, new big CFT or something else. I, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm mistaking about uh, so I can move uh, the worms first and put in the new CFT bin, empty everything and put the empty uh, CFT bin uh, in the truck and uh, unload in the new place. So the empty CFT bin, two or three people can easily manage to lift and go, you know, load in the truck and uh, unload. And I actually I start to do these things and um, I start with the bin number one, that is the Older bin is the bin that I showed in my video on how to build a CFT that actually don't have a lot of bedding because I scrapped a lot of stuff from the bottom because I had pre a couple of big orders of, a, of a casting so I scrapped all the casting I got from the bottom and I did not add the new bedding just to add the worm uh, try to work uh, on the on, on the bedding the bedding or remaining bedding and uh, you know transform everything in the casting as fast as possible and that harvest all the worms. So with these little things actually it's working pretty well and I'm working again on the on the CFT number one I show you. You know I think you know all my beans are on uh, wheels so it's a bit easy to move them. So I move it the the bin number one closer to the harvester and I start to take uh, everything out. You see here it's a uh, Almost empty. I have just a little work more, uh, and uh, how I did with the bin number two in the video, how to reset uh, the CFT bin. Uh, uh, I will link everything, of course. I just, you know, take everything out. I because again, on wheels, I just pull this thing closer, so it's easy for me, and um, and I start to to harvest. So I start here again. So I actually harvested two of these 28 gallons and uh, I took out uh, three, one, two and three. The first it's a casting, the second it's like a baby and cocoon and the third one are all big uh, unprocessed stuff with uh, all the worms. So another problem there will be 
take these things out. Okay, this really need a, a forklift, but again, that don't make any sense. So I have to figure out maybe taking everything out and put a smaller bag like 25, 30 pounds each. But I have an order of 250 pounds that I will deliver in two days. So I will take out 250 pounds of casting from these things and that will be um, a very, very nice thing. Actually, I started to take everything. So I have two months, maybe in two months, I will be able to sell all this stuff. So this is uh, everything I have. So I have to actually break down all the all the shelves no no take everything out and um, it's pretty job okay so okay i'm done to sift everything and uh, this is uh, the result of what come up uh, one uh, and uh, almost two actually the other one already put on the on the big bag over there Casting. This is all uh, cocoon baby and uh, bigger stuff, and uh, this is all big stuff and uh, and worms. So in total, I think I got uh, let, um, around uh, 35 pounds of worms. Let me check out the empty bin. So this is the bin. It's completely empty. I clean. Oh, I put some stuff inside, but I want to show you. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, put this inside. So you see it's completely empty and clean and ready to go to the new place where, when and where I found it. <laughs> okay, so let me finish to do this stuff uh, and uh, I will show you what is my idea to keep this warm uh, cozy and at the same time, um, you know, make me easily remove everything. All right, okay. Okay, so I prepared some bedding. I'm putting some bedding here. Okay, so actually we put all the bedding I prepared. And uh, I will mix off uh, of all the ones that I harvested uh, from, the, from the CBT number one. I forget to mention before that this morning I saw the 10 pounds of worms and they got from this bin. So I didn't touch my uh, reproduction bin and I start to uh, take some, some worm out of the big CBT and um, the worms are amazing, are beautiful, they are big, huge, fat and uh, and very, very healthy and that's a very good news and also I'm taking around another six, seven, eight pounds, I, I didn't wait but it's just, you know, highball uh, of worms and put in four different uh, reproduction, reproduction tray and all the rest uh, they will go into this one for like four or five weeks I think, so till I move to the new places. So this is uh, what I am uh, doing uh, and I will do the same thing. I, if I have time tomorrow, I, if not maybe after tomorrow, I will do the same thing and reset uh, the B number three, the CFT number three. So let's finish this thing. Okay, so the bedding is ready. I want to put some food here that can last a little longer actually, till I move uh, spaces so this is what it is actually one yeah I want to actually mix a little bit uh, okay. I think I threw my head at the front of the camera but that's okay so now I will put all the, half of the worms that I harvested on the top of this thing let me go take the worms Okay guys, this is a big job. Uh, off of this one sand unprocessed battery. Oh, there are still some food there. Okay. 
so as you see, the worms are pretty nice. There are a bunch of babies. Okay, and they look like uh, it will use a little water here. So I'm gonna put a little water. Let me cover these things and let me prepare the bedding for the second big bin where I put the worms. One sec. Okay guys, I'm done. It was a big job of course. Uh, and um, so the final result uh, um, was uh, that, uh, I don't know, many pounds of course, but for sure I can split uh, all the worms in two pins. So start over a second bin from the first one. Plus, the worms are uh, 10 pounds, I sold this morning for a, a, was a local buyer and plus uh, I did another 4 trays, uh, that means another 7-8 pounds of worms, so I don't know, maybe there was in total 40 pounds plus of worms in this smaller CFT bin. So I split uh, the two in uh, two bigs, uh, uh, big of this totem, plastic totem, they will be there cozy for 3-4 uh, weeks till I'm uh, I'm ready to move and I will uh, split in uh, two different bits so I have to build more of this stuff. So, and um, there are another thing I forget to mention that um, you remember I told you that about the, the new big trombone. So, I had to send an email yesterday explaining the situation and ask if taken all the, the delivery for a little while, for at least a couple of months. They say that uh, that can be a problem and then we are trying to figure out what to do. If uh, it's not possible to order the delivery, I think at this point I will put the new trauma in my backyard if I have another the, 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 the new place. So I will keep you updated uh, about everything, about my plan uh, to get ready for the big move. Uh, and uh, I will uh, make a little documentary on the Northeast uh, Worms uh, big move <laughs> to the new place. But this is the, the beginning uh, of... Um, a new step, you know, you know, and uh, I'm pretty excited to step up uh, and build new stuff and make, uh, you know, more, uh, more, uh, more casting, produce more casting, and uh, because, uh, you know, I uh, start to have a little pretty, pretty big uh, orders. Uh, I mentioned before, I had a 250 pound order from a local landscape uh, company. They do like uh, gardens and for new complex and everything. They are pretty big. So they say, let's start with 250 pounds, let's see the quality of your uh, one casting and uh, we will figure out, you know, how to see the season. I'm sure the way they see my casting will be fairly low, but also I'm waiting for the result of the lab. I sent the, the, the sample to the lab to be, you know, to be analyzed to see how my one casting good is. All right, guys, thank you very much. Again, subscribe uh, and uh, push the bell icon so you'll be updated about this big move that is in process to me. Thank you.